Um, so for problem three, uh, it asks us to calculate the number of connected graphs uh, with vertex sets M. And we should find the recursive formula for uh, GN and write a program uh, to calculate G100. Um, so first let's find the uh, recursive formula for GN. And since GN is the uh, number of connected graphs uh, with vertex sets labeled from one to n. So we have n vertices. Um, and now we should first consider um, the connected graph formed uh, using n minus one uh, vertices. And then we try to connect the vertex n to uh, the n minus one uh, vertices. And uh, for n minus one vertices, uh, how many ways can we um, divide it into a, com a, a set of connected components? So for example, if we want to divide it to uh, K connected uh, components, so we have, let's say K connected components. And for each of them, let's say it has a size of alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, up to alpha k. And now we want to connect this vertex set n to um to the uh, connected uh, to the graphs formed using the uh, n minus one vertices. So um since the final graph. Gn that we uh, that we want to form has to uh, be connected. So this vertex n has to connect to um, all of the connected vertices, uh, to all of the connected components. It may has have, for example, one edge connected to a particular vertex in in the connected components, or it all, may only have on, have only one edge or it may have several uh, edges connected to a particular connected components, but it must uh, connect to all of the connected components. And in this way, this graph, it's uh, a connected graph. And the, uh, we should first observe that since uh, excluding this vertex N, we have uh, alpha one uh, plus alpha two, all the way to alpha k, should be equal to n minus one since we have n vertices and we exclude the uh, vertex n. So this uh, sum is equal to uh, n minus one. Um. So now let's count for the number of ways we can collect uh, vertex n to one of the connected components. So let's take this as an example. Um, for each of the vertices in this connected components, we can choose to put an edge or uh, not put an edge. So we have a choice of two and we have this many uh, alpha one vertices. So in total, we have this many ways to uh, connect n to this connected component. Um, but we have to exclude uh, the, the uh, exclude the sets that we at uh, the empty sets that we uh, don't have any edge between uh, n and any of the vertices in this connected component since uh, in this case this is not uh, we are not forming a connected graph uh, it's a connected graph here. So this is not allowed and we have to exclude this uh, set. And um, so this is the number of ways we can connect, um, we can connect uh, the vertex N to a, one of the connected components. Um, and this is one, uh, one of, and in this connected component, this is only one of the uh, many possible connected graphs uh, formed. And we have to account for all of the possible connected graphs that can be formed 
using these uh, and uh, these alpha one vertices. So the uh, number of connected graphs that can be formed using this alpha one vertices is uh, G alpha one. So in total, this part is the number of ways we can connect uh, N to uh, this connected components. And we have already accounted for uh, all of the possible uh, possible connected graph with this uh, alpha one vertices. And we have to count for all of these K connected components. So in total, we have to get the products of um, from one to K. And this is alpha I. So, um, so this is alpha I. And this in total, we're accounting for uh, all of the possible ways we can connect uh, vertex N to uh, or to this part, this uh, configuration to this partition of uh, N minus one vertices. And we have accounted for each of the connecting components, the number of ways, uh, the number of possible connected graph it formed. So this is in total, we can, how we can connect uh, N to all of the N minus one vertices and form a connected graph. But um, but this is only one of the many possible ways to partition n minus one vertices, and we have to account for all of the possible ways uh, that we can divide these n minus one vertices into k connected components. So we have to further sum up all of the possible uh, partition. So this uh, pi is uh, a partition, a partition of n minus one vertices um, into a value k, into k sets uh, of sizes, let's say alpha one to alpha k. So, so given a value k, this is the uh, possible, uh, the possible ways we can connect n to uh, the n minus one vertices. So this is given one possible value of k, but there are actually uh, n minus one possible value of k. So we have to sum up, uh, <clears throat> sum up. K from one to n minus one. So uh, when k equals to one, it actually means that we have only one connected components. So all of the other n minus one vertices are connected. And when n k equals to two, we have uh, two connected components. And up to n equal uh, up to k equals n minus one. This means that uh, each of the vertex form. Uh, one connected components. So this means that all of the other k minus one vertices are uh, disconnected. And in total, this is the number of connected graphs, uh, the recursive formula of GN. So the number of connected graphs uh, can be calculated using this, using this formula. And However, if you notice that, <clears throat> however, if you notice that um, here, we are actually calculating uh, for all of the possible uh, partition of n minus one uh, vertices into k sets. So all of the possible con con uh, partition. So if we just directly uh, implement this formula, uh, it will take forever to run. So runtime is uh, extremely slow. So uh, to tackle this and actually write a program that runs uh, up to G100, we have to use techniques uh, like uh, dynamic programming and uh, memoization. 
So uh, let's first define this part and then we, we, we let's first define some terms. So let, we can let ti equals to uh, gi to the power of i minus one. So this part is actually this part. And now we have gn equals to n minus one k and then let me just copy all of it. And we now have here T alpha i. Okay, so this is T alpha i. And we can further define We can further define our uh, VP. So uh, we can propose that VP uh, NK equals to equals to this part. So let, let me just copy it. So it goes to this part and this DP just uh, calculates the number of ways we can connect N, the number of ways we can connect N to uh, form a connected graph, given all of the possible uh, partitions of K, uh, possible co partitions of K connected components uh, of these N minus one vertices. And since this part is just calculating for uh, one connected components, and this we have accounted for all of the possible uh, K connected components. Then we can just uh, calculate. So this DP is just equal to this value. So we have N choose J and then times DP n minus j, k minus one. Since here we are um, for all of the possible j, we can choose, so all of the possible uh, n vertices, we can first uh, choose uh, a value j vertices out of the, uh, all of the vertices, and then we calculate uh, its, the number of ways we can connect uh, n to uh, this j vertices to form a connected graph. And then, so this is uh, that we choose uh, j vertices out and then we connect n to it. And then for all of the vertices left, so n minus, we have now left uh, n minus j vertices, we have to form k minus one uh, connected components. So this is, but this part, and this is uh, our DP, uh, uh, the our DP, and with all of the values that now we have, uh, we have GN, GN now equals to GN now equals to um all of the possible k's of this DP. So this is our GN. And here we have N minus one because uh, we are forming, uh, we are connecting uh, N to the N minus one vertices. So this is N minus one. And this gives us uh, GN. So we, we now have, um, these three values, dp, g, n, and uh, ti. So we can just uh, have a for loop to um, pre-calculate all of these uh, values. So we can just have like for n in, in range, let's say, 
Oh, this is just pseudo codes. So let me just write it first <clears throat> from zero to uh, to 100. We first calculate Gn. And then we calculate Tn, no, not Ti. Actually, it's just Tn. And then for all of the possible k, okay, in range. So now, okay, we have uh, we have the range from from one to n. So we have for in the range from one to n, we calculate the dp value. dp and okay. And finally, this will give us a uh, G100. So this is the uh, how we can implement the program that runs up to uh, G100. And so this is for this problem. And the code will be provided uh, in the solution.